right, Kayak Z here, and I have some uh, Maypop passion fruit. All right, um, we're in the Washington D.C. metropolitan area, and a lot of people don't realize that um, passion fruit can actually grow in the D.C. area. Uh, I'm in Maryland right now, and I actually found these passion fruits uh, in Washington D.C. Uh, growing wild, and I picked them and uh, I ate some. They were sweet and a little tart. And I saved some seeds from some of the uh, passion fruits that I collected. So I have 12 seeds here that I'm going to plant. And uh, I'm going to harvest some seeds out of here. It still might be some seeds in here that are good. Um, I'm not sure yet because some of the uh, passion fruits that I picked, the seeds wasn't, you know, weren't that good. But uh, these I managed to keep and I think that they're going to harvest. I mean, they're going to actually grow. Um, and uh, we can harvest some uh, fruit from these vines. Maybe in two years, possibly. Um, I think it's, it might take about two years for it to actually uh, fruit. Um, the flowers from the passion fruit are very nice. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So uh, what I plan to do right now is I'm going to take 12, uh, 12 of these, six of these seeds, and I'm going to plant them direct. And uh, the other six, I'm going to try to, I'm doing an experiment. I'm going to try to do something that's, uh, it's called, um, when, you, well, I'm going to have to actually score, score these seeds because they're, they're real thick. So I have to score them because they, it, it it's kind of hard for them to germinate because the seed itself is pretty, uh, pretty thick. So, uh, I was, re I was reading about it that, um, you actually take some, uh, sandpaper and you might score the seed. And, um, uh, it, you know, it, it, it can get closer to the, uh, to the inside so that the water and the oxygen can actually reach to germinate the seed. So I'm going to do an experiment and six of them, I'm going to just plant direct and six of them, I'm going to actually uh, use the sandpaper and score it and uh, see how that goes. Um, so let's get started here. First, I'm going to break open some of this, this passion fruit It's old. Let's see. We have any seeds that we can we can save from here? It's still a little bit moist, and there's actually a lot of seeds in here. See, here's some seeds right here. All right, so I'm I'm gonna dry these out. I'm going to do these other ones a little later. I'm going to move on to the experiment part of it and plant six of these seeds. I marked the, uh, put a little X on the um, little cup here to know which ones I'm planting direct and which ones I'm going to uh, use the sandpaper on. Just you can make sure you uh, subscribe and follow me to see if I'm actually successful in growing this passion fruit. I'm hoping to plant it in the springtime. So I don't have to go back to that undisclosed location in Washington, D.C. and pick some more. I'd rather like to have some on our own property. All right. So that's six. These other six. Yeah. These other six. I'm going to go ahead and use the sandpaper. Put it on the sandpaper. Sandwich them in. Be yeah. Sandwich it and just rub it. So 
Let's get this on here. Okay, I'll try that. This place got a little bit smooth, smoother than it was because uh, passion fruit seeds, they're kind of interesting seeds. They have little like, little pits in them like, like a uh, golf ball. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these six in the cups that are not marked and we'll see how long it takes for them to sprout to see if actually uh, scoring them made a difference or not. Now I'm gonna put them under the light. Uh, I have a grow station. So I'm gonna sit them under the, bro the grow station and I'm gonna just leave light on them until, until they sprout. And then I'll set a timer through the rest of the week, uh, uh, the rest of the, uh, the winter. It's actually December 24th today. And uh, make sure you like and you subscribe if you want to see how this works out and, you know, see if we can actually take these seeds and grow passion fruit in Maryland. So let me take this over to the uh, grow station, get it set up. Here we go, got them under the light. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe and follow this because uh, we're gonna be having some passion fruit. All right, thank you for watching.